hi 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 uh, hi welcome to my channel my name is Pilisiwe Twenstra and I am a writer but today Vandag I'm Sanje Kajeku I'm not talking about my writing thank goodness <laughs> let's give it a break a bit but I am talking about someone else writing <laughs> yeah yes yes Yes, <laughs> I am going to be talking, sharing my thoughts about Mohale um, Mashakos intruders. Listen, I am even intruding today in this work. Allow me to, allow me to. Listen, if you have not read this collection, this offering, where have you been? Where are you in this world? You are not there yet. Go, get this book. Listen, get this book. Listen, if you are, you are South African, and you love reading but you love also sci-fi and you love magical realism and you love fantasy and you are in need of black voices listen this is the book for you yeah well my review is done <laughs> now i'll share a bit um so as you know by now that i am in love with 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 magical realism and fantasy but the lack of um recognizing yourself in the written work is is quite a problem at the moment and come on even if african americans write their sci-fi you, yes you recognize yeah and you recognize yeah but there's something that's missing also your language your your culture your surroundings your what the air you breathe you know and I was happy that I can find something as strong and as vital and necessary, um, but it has my language. It has my um, it has my the names I recognize. It has streets I recognize, but they are definitely not from this world. They are from this world, but they are not. And um, I think this is this book went. I don't know. I think it came out last year. It fits well with, with uh, where we are as a nation. Um, we are now at the moment experiencing quite a lot of, which it has been happening. It's just now. Thank for thank thank goodness for social media. We see that a um, uh, lot of female, a lot of women are not quiet anymore. They they speaking out and coming out about abuse and uh, gender-based violence against kids and women so um, this book touches on that as well there's a lot of this there's, there's very strong female characters very dark heavy uh, female characters that are definitely somehow uh, similar to you and me but yet not um, she writes about werewolves um, she writes about uh, scientist like listen have you ever seen like i say seen because reading for me is quite visual have you ever seen or have you ever read a book south africa right yes have you ever read a book and uh, there is a black woman who is a scientist and her name is Nokzola, and she's fucking amazing and she does this experiments on animals and she uses this different language. Um, have you ever, like, have you ever, have you ever? No, no, I haven't, never, ever, ever in my entire life. Always, um, I read that in, uh, uh, in other books, which, yes, but I never thought that kind of life can reach uh, me, you know? But, but that's why this book is vital, because Mohale has, has, brought these characters alive and I believe them and I believe that they are scientists I believe that they are um, the hunters they are uh, werewolves um, it's it's quite vital and I appreciate this book so 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 much um, I'm not sure about the cover uh, I I think it doesn't it doesn't give the book um, what it needs but when you open it everything is here it's necessary it's relevant to what where we are as a country it's recognizable but with the with the tint of magic with the tint of weirdness with the tint of um, sci-fi yeah so I had some notes there's a story particularly called the high heel killer 
um i wanted to talk about the structure there the structure of this story is quite interesting um so I don't know if I will explain it nicely, but we have just have to get the book, you know. But with the high heels, the structure is quite different because there's two different actions and di in different times. But they collide quite nicely because of the main character. Um, so we have, um, so the actions, I don't know if I'm going to explain, I'm going to try, but the, the actions kind of bypass one another. So one action is one plot or rather one, one, one um, driving Okay, both, it's like she, she wrote two different plots, but for same character. And they quite, they bypass one another, or they, they kind of like work nicely together. So this character, um, she is, um, so this is, th this spe specifically this story, the high heel killer is quite important. And it, it, it goes well with, with, with um, uh, relates to where we are here in South Africa. Um, so this high heel killer just came out of jail and um, because she killed someone with a heel, um, a man. And because she, you know, there's a lot of slut shaming and women and uh, uh, women being killed, women being abused. And um, she, the character then, uh, you know, defended herself. And then they're known. They know she's known as a high heel killer. Um, but what is interesting is the the structure. She used two actions, uh, but she links it. The character, the main character, links those actions. So one action happens in a different time, and the other action happens in the present time. Um, but somehow the present time explains what you know, what um, what alluded to the action that ha to the killing. So the present time is her out of jail and the other action is her um, uh, before the killing happens. I, I think it's, it's quite genius how she did that. You have to read it to understand it. And one thing else that I really I wanted to say, hmm, then I have to check my notes. Oh, Mohale, this beautiful, 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 um, is one char uh, a character, her name is, uh, I think, wait, uh, not Violet, Violet, there's a scene where this character shouts, Violet, it's so clear, it's like my, one of my, uh, grandmothers or something, and there's this, um, and there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, collect a story here called Untitled, Untitled 2. Listen, it is so, so gripping, so, it's catchy, it's, it's a story about, um, how do I say this, uh, um, a story about a young, um, woman somehow made it to the port, um, so, it's sort of happening in a space, so it, it, it falls under opera, um, opera space, space opera, space opera, yes. So they, they are in a port and they are floating uh, somewhere in the space. And um, so they left left Earth because something happened in the Earth. I think f uh, a, a huge fireball burned everybody on Earth, something like that. And so this is happening in the space. So this character, um, listen. I never, I never. <laughs> it's it's black characters. Like it's awesome to read something in and 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 with names, characters with names that you recognize, and they in space. Like like. <laughs> I love this book. I love. I've loved Mahale Mashko. I loved her thinking. I love her brain. I love how she writes, and I am excited about my writing because then this exists. Like the girl open doors. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Um, so going back to uh, Untitled Two. So she still. Um, so she she she's not happy in this space. Um, they so where in this spacecraft ship kind of a jingle my thing. Uh, has it made me think of passengers? Yeah, it made me think of passengers. Um, uh, because of your class, you are uh, either 
you know x something x something because of who you are what you earn or your celebrity or not you you fall under a certain certain class in that uh spaceship and because they are not that quite rich they fall but she is smart she's intelligent she is you know happening um but she's still ha not happy she's guilt because she left her sister on earth and she she's just a dad so she wants to you know but what what is interesting is the, the twist at the end that she takes this she she becomes the engineer in the square and this in the spaceship and she takes the 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 single pilot port and she sort of leaves the that space and she finally she can sleep for eight hours um, uh, floating around space and she reaches an, an unidentified planet and um, she sees people that look like her like not what what I picked up it's not like look like her that they're all black but they they all definitions they mimic her the, the only difference that in sizes and 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 um but they are they look like her wait what so it leaves you it leaves it grasp you it takes you there it gets you there and then it's like you want more and that's amazing i like that it leaves you not hanging but wanting more you know like you you really want to know what's happening what happens it's like it's a continuous story and it's fine it's great I give it I give it I give it a full 10 why not a full 10 listen this is it so get the book and enjoy it and let's talk below comment like like Mahale is the thing it's like I am now wondering what is she plotting now what is she outlining what is she going, what's her next offering because this is has done the deeds but um Ah, the cover uh, I wish I wish this beautiful thing was like blah, you know not the gray takes it away and um, yeah the blue and then did it and, and this intruder is it I think this is a city of Joburg that's my thing nice thing that also, it's some of the things are set in Johannesburg. All the characters are from Johannesburg, and now they're in the in space. Oh, it was lovely to read this book. You know, when you read something and you don't want it to finish, but yeah, this is Mohale Mashakho. Thank you. I feel like a model. I can. I can. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>